Scientifically, it's interesting because we weren't expecting water. We, we, we weren't guessing that water could survive in the sunlit part of the moon. Um, and so thinking about how did it get there and how did it survive is an interesting scientific question that tells us something about the history of the moon, might tell us about processes that take place on airless, other airless bodies in our solar system. This water is, you know, much less concentrated than the water we think is in the icy deposits on the lunar uh, poles, and so the first place we'll try mining for water will be the lunar poles. Accessibility and uh, availability will always be an issue. We don't know how to mine the water on the moon yet. That's why we're sending robotic instruments first to be followed by the first humans. The first humans will be doing science experiments to figure out how accessible lunar water is.